Hello, my name is Keenan Newton, and I'm a Senior Product Marketing Manager for SharePoint Developers. And we're going to talk a little bit about the app scenarios for Office and SharePoint 2013. Office 2013 will continue to support the extensibility models of previous versions of the Office suite. Some of these options include using things like COM add-ins, macros, extensions built using Visual Studio tools for Office, or extending the ribbon. As of any version, developers are strongly recommended to test these customizations in the latest version of Office 2013. In Office 2013, we've added the new app model, and it's recommended for developers to leverage when customizing SharePoint 2013. An app is founded on standard web technologies such as HTML and JavaScript. Because they're founded on web technologies, they can generally be used in both the Office 2013 desktop and web clients. This architecture also means that they're friendly to multiple devices since they use web technologies. SharePoint 2013 offers developers various options for extending the out-of-the-box capabilities. Each of these options depends on the type of SharePoint de deployment, installation, and tools available. For the various deployment options, it really depends on where and how SharePoint is installed. And also, the deployment will also dictate a lot of the other options available to the developers. For instance, on on-premise farm, SharePoint is installed within the corporate network on IT managed servers. In this scenario, customers have the full flexibility of the development options and tools that are available to them. However, with Office 365 with SharePoint Online, SharePoint is installed and managed by Microsoft. Developers are free to use all development options and tools except for full trust solutions in creating custom solutions for SharePoint. In the case of a hosted installation, where SharePoint is being hosted by some third party, not Office 365, this option can have similar restrictions to the Office 365 and SharePoint Online that Microsoft offers, and where full trust solutions may or may not be available to the consumer. So based on those deployment options, there are two key development options that are available to SharePoint developers. First are full trust solutions. This option was introduced in SharePoint 2007 and is only available in on-premise deployments. It is not available in Office 365 and potentially other third-party hosted offerings. These types of solutions can customize SharePoint that are utilized across an entire farm. The SharePoint 2013 sandbox solutions are now deprecated. While it's still possible to create sandbox solutions, it's highly recommended to use the new SharePoint app model instead. For the new cloud app model for SharePoint, there are three different types of app options that are available to you. First is a SharePoint hosted app. This option is available in all types of deployments, whether it's in Office 365 or on-prem or hosted by a third-party solution. These types of solutions are deployed to a SharePoint hosted site and their business logic executes within the client, essentially the browser. The one limitation for a SharePoint hosted app is that it cannot interact with other apps. A second type of app for SharePoint is called a provider hosted app. This option is again available in all deployment uh, types. These types of solutions are deployed to a SharePoint hosted site, so this means that your code is actually executing on an external web server outside of SharePoint itself. And a third option is the auto hosted app. And again, this option is available for Office 365 SharePoint Online deployments and will in time be available for on-premise as well. These types of solutions are very similar to the provider hosted app, except the external components, which consist of the website and optionally into the SQL Azure database, are included as part of the app. And Office 365 will automatically deploy those components for you automatically. So it deploys the SQL Azure automatically for you to a SQL Azure database and it deploys the website to Windows Azure websites for you on your behalf. With the new Cloud App model in SharePoint 2013, SharePoint 2013 allows developers to use various tools in creating custom solutions. These tools can include the web browser, SharePoint Designer, Visual Studio, and really any other integrated development environment that you choose. In the case of the web browser, we have introduced a new web-based integrated development environment called the NAPA Office 365 Developer Tools. NAPA allows you not only to develop your solutions, but to also publish them directly to the Office and SharePoint stores as well. And when you're ready to use Visual Studio, there's a simple button that you click and it'll actually create a Visual Studio solution of the code that you have already written. SharePoint Designer, which was introduced in the very first versions of SharePoint, provides a rich desktop application that allows site owners and designers to edit an existing live SharePoint site. It is available in all types of SharePoint deployments. 
Visual Studio provides a first-class experience for developing SharePoint solutions as well as apps for Office and SharePoint. It can be used in creating solutions for all types of deployment scenarios available to you. With the bracing of the new cloud app model and leveraging web standards, you really can use any type of integrated development environment that you choose. You can write your solutions using Notepad if you wanted to, or you can use um, solutions such as third-party open source uh, IDEs that are available to you. The choice is truly up to you. For this module, we had taken a look at the app development scenarios that are available to you, both for Office 2013 and SharePoint 2013.